Do you avoid getting the flu shot? Do you avoid it because you're afraid you'll get sick or it won't work? If so, you're not alone. Flu shots are one of the most often misunderstood treatments we give in our clinic. Luckily, today we're going to dispel the most common myths regarding getting a flu shot and hopefully help you feel a little more comfortable getting one. Welcome to Family Man. I'm Dr. Richardson and this is your home for practical and accurate information to help your family make healthy decisions. This is a channel that focuses on bringing better health to your home. So on today's episode, we're going to be answering six common myths that are frequently spread about the shot. We're going to be talking about whether it can give you the flu, how effective it is, when is it too late to get it, whether you should avoid it if you have allergies to eggs, is it harmful, and if you're healthy, why do you even need it? So keep watching and we'll answer all of your questions. But before we get into those though, let's talk a little bit about what the flu is. Because there's still a lot of confusion about what we're talking about when we use the word flu. A lot of the times when people talk about getting the flu, they're thinking about that stomach virus that sends you to the toilet with vomiting and diarrhea. That's actually something we call gastroenteritis, or what most will call the stomach flu. No, what we're talking about today is influenza. This is a respiratory illness caused by the influenza virus that affects mostly the respiratory tract. This is more than your common cold. This is a serious illness that at times can lead to death. And unfortunately, there really isn't any good way to treat it. Once you have it, you have it. Now, there are some medications that can help, but it's not enough to rely on. If you want to learn a little bit more about what it is and treatment options, check out my other video on the flu for a better discussion of what this is. We're not going to get into that too deep in this video because we want to talk about the best way that you can prevent it, and that's getting the flu shot. There is a lot of mis misinformation and misunderstanding about what the flu shot is and why you get it. In my experience, it seems like it is something that either, for the most part, for whatever reason, you either believe in it or you don't. In my practice, there are those that get it every year and others that won't even think about it. Hopefully, though, some of the things that we discussed today will dispel some of the common myths about the flu shot and help you feel more comfortable about getting it. So why should you get it? Well, quite simply, is that it helps and it is the best that we have. Now, we know that the flu vaccine isn't perfect. It's not gonna eliminate the flu. However, studies do show that it is between 40 to 60% effective in preventing the flu. It also shows that those who get the flu and are vaccinated are less likely to have to see the doctor about it, less likely if they do get sicker that they'll stay out of the hospital, and if they're in the hospital, they're less likely to need intensive care and less likely to die. Remember, we're not trying to protect you from the cold and sniffles. Influenza kills about 80,000 people a year. One other benefit of the flu shot, though, is that it protects your loved ones who are around you. You're less likely to spread the virus if you've had the flu shot. So, especially if you are around those with chronic illnesses, the elderly and children, you should think about getting it. So let's talk about some common myths about the flu shot. The first one is, I don't want to get the flu shot because it'll give me the flu. Okay, this one is absolutely false. The shot has no active flu virus, so it's impossible for it to give you the flu. The only one that has any active flu virus is a nasal one called flu mist. And even then, it's been weakened, so it can't cause the flu. I do have people say all the time, though, that I got the flu shot and I got sick right after. Well, it's certainly possible to get some minor reactions to the shot. Most commonly, you get a little sore in the arm, you may feel a little bit achy, but it's not going to be influenza. Also, a few things to remember that may explain why people get sick after the flu shot. The first is the flu shot doesn't protect you immediately. It can take up to two weeks to take effect. So if you get the flu after getting the shot, it's because you were exposed to it during the time that you weren't immune. The second explanation has more to do with where you get your flu shot. Where do you go to get it? Well, at a doctor's office or a pharmacy or somewhere else where there's a lot of sick people. So it's more likely you get sick from your sickness because you were near sick people, not because you got the flu shot. None of the studies have shown that you are at increased risk for illness by getting the shot. It's just the opposite. Okay, the second myth is that the flu shot just doesn't work. Well, we already established that the flu shot isn't perfect. It's important to understand that flu shot is a tricky thing to develop. It's a bit of a guessing game to know what strains of the virus are going to be most prevalent in the upcoming season. They have to be picking this pretty close to when the current flu season is ending. So it's not going to be 100% effective for every strain. The average coverage is usually between 40 to 60% effectiveness. However, don't despair. Even if it isn't 100% effective for a specific strain of the flu virus, studies show that you still will get less sick than you may have if you had not gotten it. 
The third myth is that it's just too late to get my shot. Well, at current filling, this certainly isn't the case, as flu season is just starting. But even later in the season, unless the flu season has passed, you should still get it. The flu season usually lasts from November through March, but it can go earlier or later, depending on the season. It takes two weeks for it to take effect, but it's still worthwhile to get whenever. It's going to work best if you get it earlier, or the earlier you get it, but it can still be helpful if you get it late. The fourth myth is that you should avoid getting the flu vaccine if you are allergic to eggs. Now for this one, it's true that most flu vaccines are made using eggs as an incubation medium, and some egg proteins can be incorporated into the shot. The risk of a reaction is very low though. Unless you've had a significant anaphylactic type reaction to eggs, there's really not to work much to worry about. But talk to your doctor about your risk. But don't despair. Even if you feel that you don't want to risk it, they do make an egg-free flu shot. So talk to your doctor about getting that one if you're worried. Now the fifth myth is that the flu shots contain chemicals that are harmful to the body. Well, the fact is that most flu shots these days are preservative-free and don't contain all that people are worried about. But even if they did, multiple studies have looked at all the long-term health effects of these compounds and have found no link to any harmful effects. Okay, so the last myth that I hear is that I never get sick, so I don't need the flu shot. Well, I guess my simple answer to that is I think it's great if you don't get sick very much. Hopefully it continues. Keep doing what you're doing to stay healthy. The influenza is an equal opportunity offender. Some of the sickest people I see are those who are healthy and didn't get their shot. It's kind of like the argument for car insurance. Yeah, you're a safe driver, but you can still get hit. With the flu, it's almost universal that those who really get sick regret not having gotten their shot. Okay, so there you have it. Simple answers to your common questions about the flu shot. Hopefully it helps you feel a little more comfortable getting yours and protecting yourself this winter season. So let me know, let me know what you think in the comments below. I know it's always a bit of a lightning rod discussion to mention vaccines and shots. Everybody has their strong opinions, so let's hear what yours is. Are you planning on getting your flu shot? Let us know in the comments below. Well, if you found this information to be helpful, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like icon, share it with your friends and family. I have a lot of other videos on different health topics out there. So if your health is important to you, consider subscribing and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any of our other content. So until next time, this is Family Med with Dr. Richardson. And remember, take care of your body because it's the only one you have.